Bad sweaters, marijuana, cocaine. Of course, I must be talking about something with Seth Rogen in it. The night before. The night before, Seth Rogen, Anthony Mackie, Joseph Gordon, Levitt, Lewis. Like, why does he, like, there's just so many. Just pick, pick Joseph Gordon, Joseph L. I don't want to have to say three names when I'm addressing you. You're just going to be JGL. There we go. So we got JGL, AM, and SG. The movie has a bit of nostalgia, which, you know, it has some references to Home Alone, which for some reason, because that movie was out when I was a kid, I, I laughed and, I, and I, I'll, I'll admit I enjoy those references. Usually, Mega Sean isn't a fan of the dumb comedies. If you go back and look at that uh, 22 Jump Street one, you'll, you'll see I don't, I don't do the sophomoric humor. But this was done well. It was somewhat tasteful. My man Zod was in there, whose name slips my mind for the moment, but I'm positive. Who's ever editing this is going to throw in what his real name is because I'm just happen to be slipping. It's late. I went to see the movie Narcotic Free, obviously beyond sober. You know, Mega Sean is a fan of the soberness, but just my mind has lost a little bit from just the uh, the amount of things that was done. Actually, it wasn't even a large amount, just a lot of a lot of narcotics. Comedy was good. It was again tasteful from a acting standpoint. Like nobody was bad. Miley Cyrus was in the movie, so if you like Miley Cyrus, go check it out. She sings Wrecking Ball. I've never been a fan of the song. Don't think I think the most I heard of the song was what I heard in the movie. It's because I'm a G and I'm 220, so we don't do wrecking balls unless I'm I'm the one doing the wrecking. So what it's loosely about, to not spoil it, a gentleman has a tragic happen in his life and his friends are there for him. You know how you know how it goes. Oh, your family's going for your family now. And then they then his two best friends, they bring him in his family and then they start a tradition. And so every year they do this ritual of eating Chinese food because clearly they're open around the holiday season. They don't care. And they go to different parties and, you know, party with different walks of uh, life and walks of faith, people with different religions. And they go and they hang out for the whole day. Like that's what they do for, for their Christmas. That's their celebration. And then there's this rumor of some epic party they have trying to get into for years just miraculously they're in a situation to where they're able to attend said party and then from there that night ensues of them leading to get to the party and then all, all the things that happen in between you've got girls still in weed and bathroom sex okay that's a, that's a w you've got cocaine being dripped into a martini because someone was snorting it so again the entertainment is there anytime you're dripping blood based off of uh, cocaine sniffing until someone's martini, you know you're in for a ride. It's not really too much, I can say, without telling you the movie. That was kind of just about it. Zod is the highlight of the movie. I've seen him in a lot of roles. And this one, as small as it was to me, was his... Well, no, he was, he was in one with him and... Uh, you know, I'm just going to go movie names on y'all. Him and Captain America were in a movie one time, and he was a killer, and that movie was great. But this one was, you know, I enjoyed his, his performance. I enjoyed his tone. He definitely uh, embodied his character. I think Baron Davis is in there. I'm, I'm playing basketball. I'm going to go have small parts of movies. You know, hey, you do what you want to do. You got a bunch of money. BD, that's what you do. But go check it out if you're a fan of the marijuana. I, I would not advise partaking of that and then going to see the movie. But you'd be well served if you did. Four movies with Mega Sean. Always stay sober unless you're going to see this movie. Enjoy yourselves. Enjoy your holiday season. I need gifts. You can send them to that email. Uh, anything you want to get. Large televisions, I'm taking. Flash drives, I'm also taking. Anything you want to donate. An ugly sweater that says Mega Sean on it. And a barrel-chested black guy with two machine guns. Send that to me and... I'll wear it every episode. I'm out of here. Culture Junkies!